Hey there everybody, you got the dude man with you here. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna be doing this quick review on my longtime main base for live work and it's a Ibanez SR700. I'm gonna tell you first why I love these Ibanez bases. They've been making these for at least 10 years in this style of body and uh, a lot of the similar neck uh, dimensions and everything. I'll, there are so many of these out there in different forms. SR500, 700, 1400, and I've got a few of them and um, I love them. They're, they're light. This is probably about seven and a half pounds. It feels like nothing. Um, the neck is slim and super fast. It feels great and they're well made. They're made in Indonesia and they do good quality base building there. Uh, and if you can see the finish on that, it's a beautiful finish. And on the back, it's got a different color wood on this. And this is, uh, it's not a neck through. It's kind of made to look like one. It's got a different uh, type of wood in the middle. And as you can see, it's got a uh, battery compartment and your tone control compartment there. Uh, it's a 24 fret, 34 inch scale. <laughs> great. Uh, this is just an add-on Dunlop pick holder uh, in case you were wondering about that. But it's got MK1's Bartolini uh, design MK1's. Now uh, Ivan has uh, licensed these pickups from Bartolini. Bartolini makes excellent pickups. These are the MK1's that are actually made by Ivan and these are about my all-time favorite pickups. Um, I guess the pickups aren't active, but the controls, the controls are. So uh, anyway, uh, great sound of bass. You got bass, mid, treble, volume, and then uh, your pickup selector is there with a center detent. And all the, con uh, the tone controls have center detents as well. And if you look at the neck, nice, thin smooth neck it's really nice really fast i got no complaints with the tuning machines they're light they look good and they work good what else could he ask for uh, the only thing i've done to this base is i've added some strap lock so i don't drop it but uh it sounds great with pick strings in about two years now and um, with the active electronics you could just boost the uh, the treble up a little when the strings get a little dead you know and it'll still sound still sounds great so I'm just saying that if I put new strings on here before I did this it would sound even better it sound like really bright and lively and everything if you pop if you like popping these, this this bass is great for popping because you got like plenty of room right here. Tapping, it's great for tapping. Chordal, whatever you do. It sounds great, man. So this is gonna be a very, very short video. I've got like five Ibanez bases that I'm reviewing this week, all right? So this is the second one. I did the semi-acoustic um, Ibanez uh, with the, the one with the uh, pickup, single pickup built into the bridge. And um, I'll be doing another one on that because I switched it over to piccolo strings. But um, so I got five videos to do just on Ibanez and I've only done one so far. And then I got another one, which is going to be my favorite all-time recording bass. So um, that's about it for this one. I got nothing else to say, but I've had this for at least 10 years. Never had a problem with it. Sounds great. I got a lot of compliments on my tone and everything. By the way, I'm playing through a Gensler 900-watt uh, amp uh, Fender 210 uh, 
cabinet and an old, old flight 410 cabinet that's about 35 years old. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to cut it short. And um, thanks for watching my video. And I appreciate you uh, coming by and Give me the old YouTube thumbs up if you liked what you saw. And uh, if you subscribe to the channel, uh, appreciate it very much. Dude Man checking out with you. Thanks.